um, marketed under different uh, companies and brands and stuff like that. Um, they've been around. These dry nail polish strips have been around for a while. But when I learned about it and I got really into it, uh, I was obsessed with, like, collecting. And it's really weird. Like, collecting, but I, I'm using them, so it's not like I'm really collecting per se. But there were a lot of sets where I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. Even though, like, some people were charging buku bucks for sets like retired sets and I don't know what at what point where I finally like gave up that whole like trying to catch them all I was like like Pokemon gotta catch them all um I gotta collect them all I, I stopped finally like doing that but there was a moment in time um in late 2021 and early 2022 where I was like, I have to buy every single set. Every single set that comes out. And it's like, but why? Like, not all of the sets are, like, my cup of tea. So why buy them? Like, what? Am I going to try to sell them? No, I'm not. Um, do I sometimes give them away as gifts? Sure, yes. But it all depends on if it's, like, styles that I think that, you know, my friends and family would like. And if I don't like them, I don't know. I don't know if, like, people that use Color Street very, like, sparingly or, like, you know, f just for special occasions or whatever, like, are they really going to want, like, a set that's, like, even I don't want? No. Probably not. And so now it's more about when Color Street releases new collections and all of that. I'm like looking at them like very carefully. Now, granted, if I wait too long, sometimes uh, certain sets will sell out and then I'm kind of out of luck unless I wanna shop some of the Facebook groups that have like de-stashing groups or whatever. Um, or if I'm lucky, one of the stylists that I uh, purchased from in the past will have extras and I can buy it off of them but right now I'm really mostly just buying Color Street uh, from my sister-in-law Carla because I want to support her small business and so it's like I have to like look at what's being released and go hey do I really want that set and I like asking Panda Bear for his opinion too but a lot of the times like the sets that he's really like into like I don't know they're not really the ones I am really like gravitating towards and then um, some of the sets that I choose uh, he's not really like that much into them either so ooh, you know what I just forgot to do I forgot I was going to use little kisses I'm going to use one of these to make one of my nail sticks. So, let's do that before I forget. Um, but yeah, so I don't buy all of them now um, like I used to. Um, and I also have a lot, like, so because I was trying to collect them all, I have a lot of sets, so... I don't mind using more than one set, typically, when I'm doing a mixed mani like this, uh, but I do feel like I have so many sets that it's going to take me a while to even get through even half of them, so that's why I'm like looking at the collections now when they get released and going, do I really need another pink? No. Like, there's colors that come out that are like, it's so reminiscent of what's already been released before, uh, even though it's like a different shade of pink or whatever, and it's like, meh. Like, so yeah, I'm being a lot more picky 
when it comes to the sets. Um, but the makeup, though, the makeup, ooh. So I am sort of kind of collecting all the makeup. Like, if I don't have it, my sister-in-law Carla has it. And so, like, we're really, like, trying out the makeup uh, in its full glory. Uh, so, like, for example, all of the balm makeups. So there is the tinted lip balms. There is the bronzer balm, the highlighter balm, the blush balm. I have all three. And I use them along with my... Uh, I'll have like a foundation powder or a foundation like tinted moisturizer or CC cream, BB cream, or just liquid foundation in general. And then I would use all of the balm makeup together. Or um, I also have the blush, the bronzer, and highlighter in powder form as well. And those I will use as well. Um, and then I have, like, not all the lipsticks, but I do have a fairly large collection of the lipsticks, and I like them a lot. So, so yeah. But I don't wear makeup that often. Um, I probably could if I wanted to, but really, why waste makeup on my face if... I'm happy with the way my face looks. <laughs> um, yeah, but I do enjoy doing my makeup. Don't get me wrong. It is a lot of fun to do my makeup. It's just a matter of time. So depending on when I have to leave the house to get to the office, um, that really determines whether or not I'm going to do my makeup that day um, or if I have to be somewhere or I have to show my face on webcam or something typically I will do my makeup um, but like today for example um, I didn't do my makeup today we went out to watch a movie and have coffee and have ice cream I didn't do my makeup. Yesterday, didn't go out anywhere uh, except going to my, uh, well, we went grocery shopping and then we went to my sister-in-law Carla's, um, but I did my makeup that day. So, you know, it really all depends on how I feel and if I've got the time to do it. Uh, so, so yeah. But, enough on that. You're not here to hear me talk about makeup, you're here to see me do my nails. <laughs> and I'm almost done, so ain't that great. Uh, Alright. But yeah, I had a ton of things on my to-do list um, that I was going to do this weekend for work. And I got through like 95% of them. There were two two items that I was hoping to have finished this weekend, but it didn't quite happen. So they will be like first thing tomorrow. The goal is to get those two things done on top of the other items that I have blocked off on my to-do list uh, for, for Tuesday. It is Tuesday tomorrow. Tuesday actually is like the worst day in my opinion. So I don't know if I talked about this in a prior video, but I feel like Tuesdays are the worst. Now, some people will say Mondays are the worst, but for me, not really. Like Monday, I feel like because you're just getting off the weekend, it's like a nice change of pace from whatever it is you were doing uh, over the weekend. Whether it's binge watching shows, um, going out and about with family or in friends and whatever, like Monday's kind of like your reset button um, where you are just getting back into the groove of things for work. 
So Mondays typically for me at least uh, kind of fly by at work because there's just a lot going on on Mondays to kind of get back into the groove of things. Uh, Tuesdays though are the worst because Tuesdays is the day after Monday and for me they tend to drag unless it's Taco Tuesdays um, but working at the office I don't get to enjoy Taco Tuesdays anymore. Uh, Chef Panda Bear <laughs> um, when we were working exclusively remotely during the pandemic um, would either go buy tacos or he would make tacos for Taco Tuesdays and Taco Thursdays so that was really enjoyable but now back at the office don't get to enjoy that anymore so Tuesdays are back to being the worst in my opinion and it is just my opinion so can't say I'm wrong, can't say I'm right, it is my opinion. <laughs> you might think differently, and we can choose to agree to disagree on that, because Tuesdays are the worst. Um, <laughs> but um, this week, because we had Monday off for Labor Day, or at least I did, uh, we don't really have a Tuesday. Tomorrow is going to feel kind of like a Monday. Uh, and then by the time we get to Wednesday, it's already middle of the week. So, so this week is going to be a good week because there's no real actual Tuesday feeling uh, for me. So, so yay! <laughs> All right, we are almost done here. But I am very much liking this black sesame. And I'm thinking I might need to buy one more of them before they pull these jelly sets from the site uh, or sell out. So Black Sesame, surprisingly, is uh, very, very awesome. I like that gray. I mean, I was worried when I read Black Sesame that it was going to be too dark, but this this gray like stormy cloud color that I'm getting when it's layered over a light color I'm very much liking that but do I need another set of this because I have so many sets already and so many I need to get through what I am very happy about is I was able to purchase infinity love before uh, before it sold out. I was surprised it didn't sell out the very first day. Um, but at least the last time I checked the website this weekend, Infinity Love is sold out. And that's what I figured would happen. But like I said, I was surprised it didn't sell out like within an hour on that first day. It was re-released. Um, but I'm not surprised so some of the fall edits, the fall sets um, that sold out, um, Rose Ombre was the very first one that sold out. Um, that was not a surprise to me. That was one of the fall sets that I was like, ooh, I love that. And then, but what did surprise me, although... If I'm looking at it carefully, uh, there are a lot of people that like dark blues. Like, uh, Lagoon was a jelly set that I had purchased that was part of the Destination Hawaii uh, release, and that one sold out. And then right now, the fall sets, Royal Brocade uh, is a blue set that also sold out um, which I believe because it's the fall collection I think Color Street's gonna like restock them when they're available um, so even though they're sold out I think that there might be a possibility that those will come back to the site but yeah very surprising and then not surprising very 
blazer, which was like a fuchsia magenta berry pink color. That one also sold out. So that one I was on the fence about because again, there's so many, so many shades of pink that have been released by Color Street and pink's not really like my favorite, um, unless it's like a hot pink. Um, but yeah, that one I was on the fence about and I ended up not purchasing it, but then it sold out. So it was like one of those where it's like, eh, it's not meant to be. Although, again, Color Street might restock it. I don't know. I guess my sister-in-law, Carla, will let me know <laughs> when, if and when that happens. And if I still want it at that time, then I'll get it. But what did I get from the fall edit? Well, all the overlays. Um, so Crystal Couture. Uh, the glitter overlay, I totally got one of those, and what was the flannel one called? Favorite flannel? I don't know. Uh, there was a flannel overlay that I purchased, and Boucher, Boucher jacket? How do you, is that how you pronounce it? Whatever. Anyways, all of the overlays I got, and then I also got Merino Mood, which is like a brown jelly. Um, I was very, very, very torn between that one and Vintage Velvet because Vintage Velvet has like a more purple, like wine tint to it. And I was like, ooh, I like that. But the more and more I looked at photos and also I asked Panda Bear his opinion on like which ones he liked and Merino Mood one. So, needless to say, I don't have that many browns either. So, it was one of those where it's like, okay, I can see myself getting that one because I don't have something that's similar in color and style. So, so yeah, those were the four that I bought because not only were they thirty percent off. They were also still part of the buy three get one free, so you know I you know I had to do that. But for some reason, like my beauty social, so my sister in law Carla opened up a beauty social link for me, so that I can possibly earn credits towards uh, more Color Street purchases and stuff like that. But my purchase that I did over the weekend. And I swear I looked at it and I checked it to make sure that I had clicked on the beauty social before I started shopping. Um, it didn't apply to the beauty social and that's a bummer. So kind of mad about that, but also the purchase wasn't like that much. So it wouldn't have counted that much towards the beauty social anyways. Like. But still, it was just kind of like a bummer. Um, ooh, and then I got my, so, I got my latest order from Color Street. And this has never happened to me before, so this is the very first time this has happened. And my sister-in-law, Carla's helping me with it. But, like, I got my order, and I ordered the Savvy Glow Up Bundle, um, which included a highlighter, a bronzer... Uh, supposed to include the lipstick in VIP, the shade VIP, um, and then a set of nails. Like, all of that was supposed to come in that bundle, and I opened the box, and there was no lipstick. There was no lipstick. So, of course, very first thing I did was I took a picture of the invoice that was included along with the items that were actually included in the box and I sent it to my sister-in-law and I was like hey uh, can you help me with this because Color Street gypped me on my lipstick <laughs> and I was hoping to wear it this weekend too so I was really kind of bummed out that that happened but so and because it's a long weekend it's a holiday weekend um, I was asking her about it and she submitted like a 
like a trouble ticket, but so far haven't heard back from Color Street on it. So hopefully tomorrow's back to business as normal and uh, she'll get a reply soon because, hey, not cool Color Street, what are you doing? Um, you guys have some quality control issues over there and yeah. Um, at least I did the sniff test. <laughs> if you guys aren't part of the other Facebook groups, like Stacy Sassy Crew, for example, or um, Shannon, uh, I'll link all of their like Facebook groups and their YouTube channels below. But like, if you haven't done the sniff test on your sets, if you're ordering sets, uh, do it. Do so because. If you smell nail polish when you open your package from Color Street, uh, nine out of ten times, uh, one of your sets was not properly sealed. Um, and that is bad because once these dry nail polish strips are exposed to air, they start like drying out um, and then it will be almost impossible to use them. So not cool not cool color street um i haven't experienced that issue where uh one of my sets have not been sealed properly but i know people that have experienced that and so just be be forewarned um color street's still an amazing product so don't take my complaints and my commentary uh as you know saying that they're no good um, just saying that color street as you grow uh, please continue to pay attention to quality control um, yeah having missing products in the box that you sent me is a huge no-no come on come on like there should be a checking it once and checking it twice kind of thing have two sets of eyeballs on it. I mean, have one person package and another person double check the package with the invoice before it gets sealed and mailed out. How hard can that be? Um, but anyways, that is my rant and rave. Uh, hopefully, my sister-in-law Carla will let me know how Color Street tends or will like um, resolve the issue of not including my lipstick in my package um, and I will fill you guys in on that when that happens but this is the final look as I mentioned uh, it's kind of hard to see unless you're seeing it in like person you could totally see it uh, really well in person the color underneath the jelly um, which I'm loving because that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to wear that little kisses set all by itself. Uh, so I'll take some photos in natural lighting tomorrow. Hopefully that uh, shows off the nails better. But yeah, final look for back to school mixed Manny right here. So until next time, peace. <laughs>